Hello, in this video we're going to show you how you can clean up your website's URLs so that search engines aren't duplicating their indexing. This is known as canonicalization, or normalization, and it will help you boost your SEO score by making your URLs more search engine friendly thanks to using consistent URL syntax. Now the main problem with a lack of canonicalization is this. Without it, depending on how a user types in the address of a website they'd like to visit, while each of these URLs might generate the same page for the user, they aren't redirected to the main URL or canonical URL. So as far as the search engines are concerned, there are four different URLs here, which can be confusing. On the other hand, with canonicalization, no matter how the user types in the URL, they are redirected to one URL. Again, this makes no difference to the user at all. But it makes it clear for the search engines, since, technically speaking, a web server could deliver four completely different content to these four different URLs. So with canonicalization, you're telling Google and other search engines that, hey, no matter which version of the URL the user types into their browser, this specific URL is the one we want you to index and rank. Therefore, your website will be rewarded in its algorithms, as opposed to being penalized for having a lack of canonicalization. All right, while this isn't the sexiest subject when it comes to SEO, Issues in this area can really hurt your search engine rankings, even if your website is doing very well in other areas of optimization. Now there are a couple of ways to approach this solution. One is to add a rel equals canonicalize tag in quotes to links within your code. This is a case-by-case, -case, hands-on approach that can be very useful in some instances. For example, if you have duplicate content for some reason. Maybe I've got a page, mywebsite.com forward slash panda, and I've got the same content duplicated for split testing purposes, mywebsite.com forward slash panda bear. Same exact content. Or it's the same content and I'm experimenting which background color of the page is more attractive to users. Doesn't matter, you get the idea. Or let's say I'm testing a Facebook campaign and tracking data on this page. So in this case, I'll want to use the rel equals canonicalize tag in my code because I want all three pages online, but I want Google and other search engines to pay attention to my original version and to ignore the duplicates that I'm testing with. So in this case, in the head of each page's code, I'll add rel equals canonical to my href to the specific page I want ranked. This tells Google and other search engines to pay attention to this page and to rank it and not the others. Another method for canonicalizing your URLs is adding a 301 redirect to pages that you want Google and other search engines not to rank. This sends site visitors and search engines to a different URL than the one they originally typed into their browser. It also puts these various URLs under one umbrella, so that search engines will rank all of the addresses based on the domain authority from the inbound links. So if you have someone linking this URL in their blog, for example, and someone else has this link on their website, the search engines will associate either of those inbound links with the main URL. We'll set up a 301 redirect here in a minute, but first, let's have a quick look at some of the best practices when it comes to naming the URLs throughout your entire site. While there's plenty of expert advice on the subject, the key factor to keep in mind is that your URLs should all use consistent syntax. So here in our code, we see that we have two links on the same page, but the syntax is written differently, so let's correct that. And now for some general points. Your main page or directory should use a trailing slash. This allows browsers to serve the correct file after just a single request from the server. And if you ever change your page structure from HTML to PHP, or change to another coding language, your directory URLs can stay the same. Keep all your URLs in lowercase. While most hosts and servers don't recognize uppercase letters anyway, some do and it's best to just go ahead and avoid the extra work. There's just simply no good reason to have uppercase letters. Remove forward slash index HTML and just use the home page. Having the directory index is no longer commonly required to link your URLs. Now while it's becoming more and more common for domains to use their name without www, Nevertheless, it's important that both URLs, with and without www, redirect to the same page. For instance, after running a diagnostic check on SEO Site Checkup, we can see here that our website has canonicalization issues. 
If a user types in our domain name into their browser using www beforehand, or if they type it without www, they should come to the same URL. But in this case, they don't. These are actually two different pages, meaning the search engines have to index them both, which is messier and causes confusion. It views your page as being published by many different URLs, thus having duplicate content. And as a result, any link popularity you might have will be diluted or broken up between the different URLs. If we click on how to fix, we can see the suggestion here to add some code to our HT access file, not too complicated. So let's access our site's root directory and note that the dot before HT access means that it's a hidden system file. So be sure to have hidden files showing up so you can locate it. We'll open it up and we'll copy these two lines of redirect code. When a user types in our URL without www, or when they do type www before our URL, we want it to redirect them to our URL without www in both cases. Or these other two lines of code do just the opposite. In either case, typing www or not, the user will be redirected to your URL with www. We'd prefer this first option here, so we'll copy this. And in our HT access file, we'll paste that. It can be anywhere after this rewrite engine online. And in both cases where it says example here, we'll go ahead and put the name of our website. And save. And now we're set. Users will come to the same page, whether they type in www or HTTP and so on, and search engines won't have to index several URLs with the same content and then penalize the website in the search engine rankings. Feel free to check out our other videos so that you can keep fine-tuning and getting the most out of your SEO. And click subscribe to stay updated with new tips and tricks to get you to the top of the search engine results pages.